Hi guys. I don't know if any of you saw my Instagram post, but today I'm gonna to be making a Dominican breakfast that consists of mango, fried egg, and some fried cheese. I almost didn't do the fried cheese, but I decided let's go all the way with it. I'm heating up some water because we're going to boil in case any of you don't know what mango is it is hmm, didn't bring a thing with me it's okay it's um boiled plantains that are mashed mashed up and seasoned and then i'm going to top it with some pickled red onions mm. and it's really really good so if you haven't tried it before, get a pen and pencil and um, take notes. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny how people eat plantains all over the world. And it kind of makes me think that they were originally grown in Africa because every place where Africans have touched on the borders, they eat plantains. In the Caribbean, whether it's, you know, mostly African Caribbean or even Spanish speaking Caribbeans, Caribbean islands, they have, uh, they eat plantains. And in the South, they eat plantains. My mother used to, hey host, how are you? My mother used to eat plantains all the time. She would just boil them and, you know, put a little salt and butter on them. And, you know, she didn't mash them up or anything like that. But I guess that wasn't a Southern thing. But it's still plantains. Fried plantains they have. Yeah, it's really good. And if you don't know what a plantain is, it's like a green. It looks like a banana. And they come in green. When they're green... They taste like, um, almost like a potato. And when they're yellow, they're sweet. And in Spanish, the yellow ones, they call maduros. They're really good. I like those too. They're sweet like sugar. And when I have the sweet ones, I like to cook it and let it burn a little bit. <laughs> Because I like that flavor. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been on. Um, you know, I had a kind of rough end of the year. And um, I've just been being quiet. Now, how I did this, in case you don't know, um, it was like a big green banana and I chopped off the ends, I scored the sides where it comes to a point, because you can't really peel these. I mean, it's funny, before I actually saw this Cuban guy, there used to be a guy in my old neighborhood that used to, I don't know what he was doing with the plants, but he would, he would peel them on the street. And I saw him cut off the ends and score them. I'm like, oh, that's, the easy way to do it. <laughs> I'm just salting up my water here so that the plantains have a little flavor. Put that down there for the meantime. And um, yeah, this stuff is so good. Oh my gosh. You only have to boil it for like maybe 20 minutes, which I should have had a top on here, but I did not. Um, if you want, I mean, it would be nice if somebody shared me out so people know to come into the room. And I'm gonna take all of these peels and throw them away. 
throw them away. I'll have a little nap from here. Came with the coffee that my son brought me. So nice of him. Well, I feed him, so it's good that he buys me coffee. Although he's a very good cook, he doesn't want to cook for himself. Says my... Okay. I hope that's better. I'm going to take a plate and put it on top of here. I did not bring my... um. I didn't bring the top and I don't feel like getting up. Being lazy. Hopefully that, that'll get boiling soon. How's everybody doing out there? I feel like I'm talking to myself. And if that's gonna be the case, I don't really have to wear my glasses. I can be cute. You see this, these ear warmers, I have them on because I'm very, very, I've been cold. And this thing right here, it is so warm. I made this. Let me model it for you. Get the stragglers out of the way. You see? It's really dark over here. I should have my light on, but I don't. So please forgive me. Um, Man's your next. Oh. And in this pan, ugh, I chopped up some onions and some garlic. And while this is cooking, yeah, it's, it's heating up nicely. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil in there and simmer these onions down. I have a candle burning over there. That's another trick that I have. Um, hey, I'm gonna have to put on my glasses to see who you are. <laughs> um, okay. But thanks for coming in. <laughs> oh, sexy too much for you, Coleman. Thanks for coming in. I'm doing better. I'm doing better. Oh, you like you like that? <laughs> Little something I made. You know, it's so funny because I had this yarn for over a year. Originally, I was going to make a, a hat for my son. I have two skeins. The other skein is somewhere around here somewhere. And um, I started crocheting, but I couldn't see the stitches. Hey, Courtney, cook some more. Thanks for coming in. Couldn't see the stitches, so I'm like, oh, I can't make anything with this. So I just left it. I forgot about it. Then I saw a girl on Facebook, and she made one of these out of this yarn. And I'm like, you know, I told her I had this yarn. I'm scared to use it because I can't see what I'm doing. And she said, feel the stitches. And that's what I did, and I made this. I made one, and it's, I'm loving it. It's so warm. And I'm a little chilly today, so I put on my warm fuzzy sweater and uh let me mix these around i have to get out of the frame for a bit to make sure that i don't want them to burn but i do want them to cook can't see what i'm doing oh it'll heat up how are you doing courtney oh my coffee have a little coffee here. We're gonna sit and chat for a while. Oh, I'm gonna open that way. And today, I really didn't want a large coffee, but it's good. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> mm. Now I feel like going out and getting a bunch of this yarn, but it wasn't that cheap. This one was a little bit pricey. Um, so I have to catch a sale, maybe at Michael's. Um, I don't know if anybody crochets. 
Michael's, I know they have a big sale. And I'm trying to think if it's January or February where everything is like, not everything, but things like yarn and stuff like that. It's like 50% off. So maybe I'll catch something. And if I do, I'm just gonna make a bunch of these. I love them. They are so warm. And it's so funny because you usually think the top of your head has to be warm. But when your forehead is warm, it just feels like your head is warm all over. So yeah, I wanna make more of these. I hadn't been crocheting for a while, for some time now. And oh, this must be really low. Oh wait, is that here? No, I hear a little sizzle. Yeah, that's the onions. I'll let that cook down slow. Oh. You know, I'm always ordering from Walmart. Maybe I can order some yarn online. This isn't Courtney. Um, is this Courtney, Courtney? <laughs> Um, do you have a second channel? Is this your second channel? I'm trying to figure out what Courtney this is because I know a couple Courtney's. And if it's you, I know you crochet. Because I met you on a crochet channel. Hmm. Yeah, I like Michael's. I got this one from um, what's that yarn company? Oh gosh, this is hard. I've been having hiccups lately, and I've been sleeping more than usual, so I don't know why I'm having these brain parts. But um, gosh, what are some popular yarn companies? Uh, anyway, they have us. Well, they had a store like a. Um, oh, it's just a name change. Okay, I like it. I like it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, trying to think of the store. It's one of the more popular yarn companies. Anyway, they had a little shop in. Lower Manhattan, like around 18th Street or something like that. And um, they had discounts and stuff like that. So I always used to go there and buy my yarn. They closed down. I guess they weren't getting a lot of uh, customers. And, and well, did they close down? They might have closed down during the virus. So maybe that's why. I should remember the yarn, the name of them. I know you know what it is, but I know what it is. I just can't think of it. Oh, well. Not important. So what are you up to this weekend? Anything in particular? I'm like trying to catch up on my social media accounts. Trying to do a little something. A little something, something. Let me share myself out. Uh, yeah, but I'm not really up to too much. Well, I can't say that. That's not true. <laughs> I've been promising myself to learn how to use my heat press so that I could start making some merch. And I don't know, I've been putting it off. I guess I'm scared of it, you know? I'm scared to use it. I had it over a year. I hope it works because if it doesn't, I'm not gonna be able to take it back because too much time has passed. But, um. 
Yeah. So maybe this weekend I will do that. I'm going to turn this up a little bit more. Because I have a feeling that um, the mangoo is going to be ready. Oh, it's not even boiling. What is going on? Oh, this cheese is so good. You know, I have a really bad thing for any kind of cheese. And I just like eat it. And it's bad because I always intend to make something with it. But I just can't resist it. <laughs> have you ever had um, Dominican food? Like breakfast? Are you cleaning the closets and laundry? Yeah. I'm going to do a little bit of that too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'll see. I really want to, I'm going to make myself use that heat press machine though. Hey, Mary, how are you feeling? Are you good? Yeah, I kind of dropped out of sight after that, um, last live that I had and you were in it and um but I noticed that you had some stuff going on are you good mm. oh curry chicken are you gonna be making that live Courtney I'll tune into I'll tune into that. I love any well, I don't eat chicken, but I love curry. Yeah. I make a um like a curry. You can't you can't see the people in you can't see Mary. I wonder why that is. I know I was talking to people on another channel before and I knew you couldn't see them, but Mary's right here. She's like right above that statement that you that you made. Um thanks for the hearts. Ooh, I do um curry um ooh, spitting. Curry bluefish. I like I like like to get a nice meaty fish, and I do a curry with that. I just I just love curry. I made were you in here when I made the curry popcorn? <laughs> that was funny. Everybody's like, I never heard of curry popcorn. That's because there's no such thing. But I made it and I liked it. <laughs> oh. Sorry to hear that. Well, I hope you find it soon. Mm. It's crazy. I remember my daughter, she had to have surgery on both her eyes. You know something? I haven't been on social media that much since the time when I saw you in here. So I had like a real tragedy towards the end of the year. And um, then I found out about something that had happened earlier in the year. So I've kind of been really laying low. So um, yeah, no, I haven't seen I haven't even clicked on my notifications, but I'll I'll go to your page and I'll look at your videos. You know, yeah. Thanks. Whew. Just mentioning it gets me. <laughs> yeah. Um. What was I saying? Oh wow. 
Yeah, you know what it is? I think that maybe the notifications come in. I'm thinking that not all of them come in, even though people swear that, you know, they all come in. Um, but there's so many people. And if you're not on at that time of day when they're posting, you miss it. Because you can't possibly go back and go through all of the notifications. That's just crazy. But um, so I kind of like try to look for people sometimes. But oh yeah, I was talking about my daughter. She didn't have she had insurance, but the insurance didn't cover um the type of surgery because it was new. It had been experimental and she was waiting until the FDA approved it. Um, is it the FDA? Somebody, some federal agency. They had to approve it, the surgery. So when it got its approval, her insurance didn't cover it. So in fact, I don't even know what insurance covered it because she was looking and she couldn't find anybody that covered it. She, she wound up taking out a loan to pay for her surgery because she was, you know, she was legally blind. And um, it was uh, progressive. It's a disease called keratoconus. It's when the cornea lifts away from the eye and um, it had been progressing. She had special lenses that gave her 20-20 vision, but when her eyes were checked, it had been pro progressing. So she had to have the surgery to stop the pro progression of the disease. And now she's good, but she's got a bill she has to pay, you know? Oh, <laughs> you guys see each other now, that's good. Oh, it's boiling, ah, it's boiling. <clears throat> yeah, this coffee is good. So yeah, I'm kind of trying to come back to myself, you know, get back in the swing of things. How come I'm not hearing the sizzle anymore? What is going on? You know, it's funny. I had gotten, oh, did I turn it? No, I didn't turn it off. I had gotten a burner to put, to put in the studio because I wanted to cook here at the table. And then they found a leak in my gas line. So they had to have it fixed. Now it's fixed. The building inspector came sometime last week, early last week or early this week. And um, they still haven't turned the gas on. But I kind of like, <laughs> I kind of like cooking in here. I mean, this is where I was cooking anyway, but I don't mind cooking everything in here. I don't use, and it's funny, everything is portable with me. I don't use the oven that's on my stove because I found out that the oven part is electric and they only pay for gas in this building. So I'm like, why am I spending my money to cook in the oven? So I brought myself a toaster oven and it's smaller, it heats up quicker and it cooks just as good as the big oven. So now I'm using this and I'm using my toaster oven. I just finished making one of those uh, sweet potato pones again. So I love it. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are getting to know each other. I wish some more people were coming in. I put up a little thing on Instagram and people liked it, but they didn't come in. So I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I am going to have to get my dish towel though because this plate is hot. I'll be right back. And it's wet 
because I just dried my dishes with it. That's okay. Yeah, it does save on the electric. It certainly does. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know why. And they're probably just trying to get over um, on their gas bill. Because I asked other people in my building, they're like, no, we don't have an electric oven. <laughs> but yeah, there's a plug. It's a heat the oven. Oh, well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Ah. It's good to be back. Missed you guys. Yeah. I came in, um, I've been in other people's lives, but I haven't done a live, and I've only been in a, a couple of them. But I haven't done this is my first live of the new year. So that's good. These onions, oh, they'll cook. But I think it must have been, let me just poke these and see how soft they are. Yeah, they're good. So I'm going to Get another fork. Take this and pour off most of the water so that I could smush them up. Oh, a caramel swirl. Dunkin' Donuts. I haven't been to Dunkin' Donuts in so long. I tell you, I am cheap. I make all kinds of coffee at home. <laughs> I make espresso, I make drip coffee, I make um, frappuccinos, I make lattes. <laughs> I'm cheap, girl. And I'll never forget when the first Starbucks, well, when Starbucks first came to New York. And um, I was meeting a friend for coffee, somebody that I used to work with. And he said, oh, meet me at the, meet me at the Starbucks on the corner. And I'd never been to a Starbucks before. So I'm like, okay, a little something different. So, you know, I was meeting him for lunch, but I went to have, hey, Wanston, thanks for coming in. I went to have um, a cup of tea to wait because he was working. Q's, hey, Q, happy new year. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Um, yeah, and I think the tea was four dollars and i was used to dollar teas because back then it's like you didn't pay more than a dollar for a cup of tea <laughs> like what kind of place did you tell me to go to where i gotta pay four dollars for a cup of tea you know i was so mad <laughs> mm. anyway let me go pour some of this water off and i'll be right back I'm making mango, which is like, I don't know what it compares to. I don't think anything that I can think of. But it's boiled, mashed up plantains for those that don't know. And I'm cooking up some, um, You know, I'm just going to mash it with my blender. And then I reserved like maybe a half a cup of water so that it makes a nice mush. I was just gonna put, ooh. so you mash it and you blend it. And Mm. 
this is going to make a little bit of noise. Yeah. I hope you're able to take care of that soon, Mary. Huh. You know, it's funny and they, you know, let me not get political. I was, <laughs> was going to say something, but we're going to keep it light with all the stuff that's been going on. I'm just going to keep it light. Hey, how many of you have, oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to, probably not supposed to talk about this, so I won't. But there's this new social media platform. And um, it is extremely good for networking. Like if you, if you want to do something other than just social media, if you have something going on, there's like so many people on that platform and you get to be, um, like they have celebrities in there. The other day I was in a room with Tiffany Haddish and I was like, whoa. And then last night I was in a room with Gary V. I don't know who, if anybody knows Gary V, but he is a genius marketing marketer. He um, used to work for his father. His father had a wine business. And he was working for his father, I think, since he was like 14 years old. And his father's business was worth something like, maybe it was worth a million. And he turned it into a $60 million company. And then he left because, I mean, you know, it was his dad, but he didn't have any shares in the company. <laughs> so he left and started his own stuff. And now he's like this multi-million, and when I say multi, I mean really multi, multi, multi-millionaire marketing person. And he gives out all kinds of free advice about, you know, doing business and marketing and stuff like that. Really cool guy. Sorry for the noise. Oh, you have to go? Okay, Courtney, take care. All right. Good luck with the closets. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I hope that you get that settled out. And I hope you don't have to do what my daughter wound up doing. Because it is no joke paying a bill for surgery. Oh. But just thank goodness that she was able to get it. You, I really, I enjoy, <laughs> I enjoy when your husband is on with you. You guys are so cute together. I like this really mushy, so I'm like, and I always feel like I should have put more water, but I poured it out already, so I'm going to, a little extra olive oil in there. This olive oil can't hurt you. Yeah. But you know what, Mary? If you can't, if you can't find something else. Hey, thanks for coming in the live. I can't really make out your name. Ray. <laughs> Ray Charles, that's cute. <laughs> Another platform. Yeah, if you can't find insurance, consider taking, consider getting a loan just so you can get it done. You know? Oh, yeah, I know. He seems like he's shy, but 
you know what I love? You know what I really love about the two of you? It's like, you're funny, you know, naturally. I mean, everybody can see that you're funny. But he, like, thinks you're so funny. He's so enamored with you. And it's, like, so evident. And I just love to see that. I love to see that. Okay. Okay, I think these are soft enough now. So let's see if I can get these onions out without making a mess. Uh, no, let me just get rid of this first. Put that over there, turn this off. And what did I do with my fork just now? Oh, that's what I did with it. This stuff is like so good. It's one of my favorite things to have for breakfast. I like, okay, these are the things that I like for breakfast. Of course, I like overnight oats because you've seen me make them a million times. Well, if you were watching me from the beginning. Um, so I like overnight oats as opposed to hot oatmeal. I like waffles. I love waffles. It's like, huh, everybody's seen me make waffles, I'm sure. And fish and grits, even though you don't see me eat that too often. But um, yeah, and this, mangu. It's like, whew, one of my favorite things to eat. Like if that's all that I had to eat, I would be such a fatty. Because, a little spastic this morning. Okay, covering my face. Put those onions in here. Oh, I should have saved that olive oil for the cheese. I guess I'm gonna have to. Well, there's a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, oh, okay. Yeah. I think it's because these two kinds of things happen with like electricity and Wi-Fi and stuff like that because there's so many people at home. I mean, today's a Saturday, but just the usage is just so much. These things don't get a chance to rest. I think I'm gonna taste this. A little salt. Oh my gosh. And maybe a little more vinegar. Just a little more. There we go. I'm making mango. Anybody that didn't um, catch that before, and it's mashed up, boiled mashed up plantains. Mmm, that's perfect. Sorry, I licked my fingers. Put that over there. What's next? Oh yeah. The um the fried cheese is next. I'm trying this back on. And let me see if I can drain this. There's a little corner. And maybe I could just cook it with just that much oil. I love cooking. And I already have the cheese sliced up. 
This is the kind of cheese that I used. It's queso. It's white cheese. I don't know, but it's in that package. That's what I use. And I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure exactly what kind of cheese it is because everybody calls it white cheese. And if I had read that to you, it translates to white cheese. <laughs> queso blanco. So that's all I know. All I know. There. That's making a big mess. Just want to make sure nothing gets on my computer. I don't know what I did with that empty olive oil. But I have that. I'm frying up the cheese. Oh, I don't think I put any seasoning in the mango. Let me just taste it. Yeah. Mmm. I salted the water, but it could use a little something. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put that in there. What did I do with my pepper? I know it's like, well, I have hot sauce somewhere, so I guess I don't need the pepper. Could you look in the cabinet and see if the pepper's there? Oh, yeah, there's the hot sauce. I wanted to put a little pepper in the mango. Pepper's right there. Oh. It's here. Yeah, I don't put too much of that because that's actually ground peppercorns and it's a lot stronger than your run-of-the-mill, you know, pepper that you get in the supermarket. A little bit more salt. Hopefully that fries up nice and brown. I love mango. Hello, thanks for coming in. Yeah, I'm making Dominican breakfast. I don't know if you understand me, but thank you for coming in. It's really good. And I wish I could show you the plantain so I could ask you if you eat that. But I already cut it up and mushed it up. So. Okay. I'm going to put a little butter in that pan. Because this is not working out. <laughs> I think it's going to stick a little bit. I hope not. Oh, here. Okay. Okay. You know, I get addicted to games too. I don't so much play games on Facebook, but I've been playing, um, downloading games. Uh, what do I like to play? I like to play solitaire. Then there's that game where you push things in the hole. You have to match the two things and it goes down the hole. And, ooh, you're gonna fry fish? Mm, that's one of my favorite things. Yeah, this wasn't a good idea with the, okay. Now, I'm putting this on the table, but it's not gonna burn the table. The table doesn't burn. I just wanna get a, some leverage on this cheese. I can turn it over. Oh, I should have had my other, my other spatula. Because I'm leaving all the crusty part in the pan. Oh, got a little there. Mm. And I'm going to use the same pan. Yeah, the crusty part isn't. 
This isn't good. Yeah. That's a little disappointing. I should have put butter in before. Oh, Candy Crush. Yeah, I used to play that too. I don't know what you call that little game. And there's something else that I've been playing. Solitaire, that, and, oh, my phone's right here, so I can tell you. Because I have all the phones, all the games on my phone. Now, I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's the solitaire, that game where you put little things in. Let me see if I can show you. Loop games. Maybe that's just the company. And I've been going on that other that other app. I'm gonna whisper it to you really low, and you can tell me if you hear it. Clubhouse. Have you heard of that one? That social media platform. I love it. I really love it. Right now it's exclusive. You have to be like let in. But um let's see. See, it's supposed to be really crusty. Oh. But most of the crust is on the pan. <laughs> so I don't know how these fried eggs are gonna co come out. But we're going to see. Yeah. I guess I have to really. Ooh. I got some crust on this one. It looks a little deformed. Oops. Yeah, that one has a lot of crust. Maybe. Oh, well. You know what? It is what it is. I am not going to worry about it. Just gonna put two more. <laughs> yeah. No, it's that I didn't put, I didn't have enough oil. I know what it is. I didn't have enough oil. And I should have put butter in, in addition to the oil. And I kind of like forgot. So. Yeah. I actually like this pan, though. And I have another pan, another frying pan, but I don't want to get up to get it. It's a little bit of laziness and a little bit of bad luck. <laughs> well, we're going to put these eggs in here anyway and see what happens to them. And you know why? It's because I'm a G in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. It's laziness. Ooh, a nickel bottom pan set. Um, yeah. That sounds good. Does that like give you even heat? Because that sounds really good. Um. Oh, I think the eggs are going to be okay. Hope I didn't talk too soon. We'll see. Whatever. <laughs> My youngest daughter. She used to she used to use that phrase all the time when she was a baby. I'm gonna say like around two years old. Something would happen and she'd go, whatever. 
And I thought she was kind of like being a smart aleck, you know? No, she told me when she was older, she used to say that because of Eeyore. I don't know how many of you were Winnie the Pooh fans, but Eeyore, that was his catchphrase, whatever. <laughs> and that's exactly how my daughter used to say it. <laughs> so, and now what you do is you put the onions on top of the mango. Oh. Oh, no. Let me turn this egg. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, there you go. I love these little garlic chunks, so I'm trading him onions for garlic. Um, you're gonna have to grab a fork for yourself because I dropped the fork. It's gonna bust anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and it will taste the same. It's just not looking too pretty. That's okay. Now, ow. Turn that off. Where's the cheese? It's there. The crust up to the pan. Oh, here. That's for you. Would you like some hot sauce? Yes, please. Yeah. It's really good. Have you had it before? All over. The eggs too? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And then I just put a little hot sauce on there. Little salt and pepper on the egg. To what's left of it anyway. And then I'll show you my ugly breakfast. But it's going to taste good and that's all that matters. <laughs> See, I know that looks really, really not good, but it is good. It's yummy, yummy. Oh, is this still on? No. It always takes that burner a little longer to um, cool down, and I guess that's because it's bigger. Hmm. Yeah, this is good. Mmm. So good. My burnt cheese. Actually, I like the burnt part. It's supposed to be crispy all over. But, um... I missed the mark today. Mm. I was reading an article that says that providine iodine helps. Oh no, I was cold. I'm a little warm now that I've been moving around, but when I woke up, I was cold, which made me think to put on my little headgear. It's very warm and my warm sweater. I love, when it's cold outside, I just love warm, cozy sweaters. And this is one of my favorite. It's not that cute, but it's really soft and it's warm. I like it. But yeah, the Provodyne Iodine. This is the company, Halodyne. And it's just a little Provodyne Iodine, whatever that is, and water. I think a saline solution. And it's supposed to help prevent 
you know, protect you from catching viruses. And I heard, you know, the big one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I got some of that. And it's really a mouth spray, but if you take, they say it works if you take a little bit, spray a little Q-tip Q and swab the inside of your nose. And then you put two squirts in your mouth, kind of gargle it a little bit and spit it out. Hmm, I know, gross. But anyway, that's, a, that's another uh, way to protect yourself. Hmm. Yeah. I got some. I mean, I don't go out often. Hardly ever. So, I wouldn't have much use for it, but just in case. You know, I might miss my daughter really bad and FaceTime isn't enough or something. I might venture out to see her, but just a precautionary measure. Um, the thing is, nobody ever talks about this. The only time I've heard of it was um, in this article that I read. But I heard that they use the, the medical staff uses this in the hospitals to keep them from getting sick. Yeah, Mary, it's really bad. That nonsense that went on. The other day is gonna it's gonna haunt us because those people came from all over the country. They weren't wearing any kind of protective anything. And after everything's said and done, you're going back home. Well, it's not gonna be a good thing. Yeah. I just want to be be free to go out and travel. I'm tired of being home. Hmm. Got about my coffee. Three times. Oh my goodness. And it mutates, you know? I'm like, yeah, my super got upset with me because he knocked on my door. And when I looked through the people, he didn't have anything on. I didn't open the door. So I texted him and I said, look, you wanna come to my house? You're going to have gloves, <laughs> a mask, <laughs> or you're not getting in. And that's it. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Hmm. You know, that's one. I was in one of those rooms the other day. I was talking. So I read an article. This says, I'm particularly not one that should run out and get it now. I should wait. Because I have an autoimmune disease and I have a million allergies. So there's a good chance that I would have a reaction to something <laughs> in there. Despite that, I've gotten voice messages from, and this is before now, like when they were testing, testing. <laughs> I've gotten voice messages 
from my doctor's office that has my medical files telling me, asking me if I wanted to come in and be a part of the, the trial. I didn't even respond. Mm, I can believe it. Before this whole thing happened, I was doing immunotherapy with my allergist and taking a combination of 14 different allergens every week. And that doesn't cover food allergies because they don't have <laughs> they don't have shots for food allergies. So I know exactly where you're coming from, Mary. It's a mess. It's really a mess. Hmm. Hmm. I'm so enjoying this. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't hungry. This is really good. I could eat this every day. But I would be a cow if I did. <laughs> Wonderful. Hmm. Did you just, guys, did you see a flash or something? Was that my imagination? Hmm. I wish my eggs had been prettier. to go out. Oh, see, <laughs> you should have brought something with you. <laughs> mm. There's some good stuff. If you've never had it before, definitely make it. Or if you have, you know, a Dominican restaurant close to you. Because this is like a staple breakfast. Hey, Wendy. Happy New Year. How you doing? It's been a long time. I haven't been on for a while, but I hope the New Year is doing you right. Hmm. I was striving. Oh, you ate before you got here, Mary? Mmm. <laughs> nice. That sounds good. I've been, um, I don't know if any of you have ever tasted the Beyond Meat Sausages. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was mentioning earlier that things like the internet, because my internet is messed up too. It's always telling, telling me my connection is weak and internet and electricity, big problems. But you know what? I feel like they shouldn't be because we've been in this thing for a long time. You already know that the usage is above average so they should have upgraded by now i'm thinking they charge a lot of money for these things and
Oh, that's cool, Mary. Uh, we have a lot of um, gluten-free restaurants in New York, but none close to where I live. They're all in Manhattan, mostly. Some in Brooklyn. But it is such a joy to go out and be able to order like other people do normally all the time. And you don't have to ask a million questions about how the food is prepared. Oh, I am blank, blink. It's probably my internet. It's blinking like it's good, but. Yeah, don't trust that. Because I don't, I don't think um, that's supposed to happen. Yeah. And if you call and you say something's not working, they usually try to fix it remotely. And if they can't fix it remotely, they will make an appointment with you to have somebody come to your house. But nobody just pops up, oh, I'm here for your, your internet. You were right not to let them in. Crazy. Yeah, I know, Wendy. Because this, I don't know whether it's blinking for you guys, but I get a black screen with buffering every now and then. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks for the hearts. Guys, that was so good. <laughs> so good. Mm. I'm just going to use this because I have to wash it anyway. I have egg all over my mouth. Yeah, why should somebody be trying to get in your house without making an appointment? That's crazy. Yeah. But you did the right thing. I wouldn't let them in either. Mm-mm. Oh, slipping down. Can't see my eyebrows. Oh, I feel like taking a nap now. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. Yeah, especially when somebody's being rude. That is scary. And he didn't do what he was supposed to do. Check the wiring on the outside. Oh, yeah, that's terrible. Well, you know, I hope he gets in trouble because they know who they sent to your house. So, and I hope you put in a good complaint about him. You know, people, I don't know. They have people in customer service jobs and they just have no home training. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know Q. Oh, I wish I had some fish. I'm saving my fish. Oh, yeah, you're nicer than me. I would have been, <laughs> I would have said so much more than that. <laughs> and you know what? Even though you already complained, send an email. People get scared when you send emails because that's documentation. Whenever somebody wants me to talk to them on the phone, I'm like, no, send me an email. Because I want everybody to know what you're saying and I want them to know what I'm saying. Because the person that you send the email to, 
they're not the only person that sees it. So yeah, always let people know you're documenting stuff. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's a, it's not, there's like four, no, there's six apartments on my floor. And there's people at the other end that I don't really know. And they're always having people ring my bell to let them in. And I, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. The other day, somebody rang my bell and I, I was just tired of it, you know? And so I was like, what apartment are you looking for? Or who are you looking for? And they told me, I'm like, well, they don't live here. You got the wrong apartment. And I didn't open the door. Then another time a guy opened, he, he rang and um, I let him in and then I opened and I waited for him to come. And I was like, look, you're ringing the wrong bell. You need to tell those people if their bell is broken, they need to call the super and stop having people ring my bell. And so then I waited, he was a delivery person. So I waited to see if he was just gonna give them their package and leave. <laughs> and he was. So I was like, hey, <laughs> I screamed down the hall. I'm like, <laughs> like that. So then he told them, I was like, please. Yes, it is proof. Mm -hmm. It's proof and it's also, it scares people because they think that if the outcome isn't positive, that you might try to sue them or something. I always send emails. Yeah. I guess that I'm gonna go now. And I hope you guys enjoyed my breakfast. <laughs> I enjoyed it. But seriously, if you've never had it before, try it. Mango is like the best. It's the best. And you got to do, you got to make those pickled onions too. It tastes really good with that. Anyway. Yes, that's true. That's true. You don't live in New York, do you? Because I don't know, but check your check your laws, your state laws. Because in some states, you can record a conversation without letting the person know if you're part of the conversation. Some some states, you have to. I know in New York, you don't have to let them know. But in New Jersey, you do. And if a person... <laughs> but always remember, it's like you just have to let them know. You don't need their approval. They can tell you to stop. And it's like, well, if you want me to stop, then hang up the phone. You know? But, um, well, at least that's how it is in New Jersey. Like, you don't have my permission. No, I just have to notify you. I don't need your permission. If there's something that you want to say that, you know, you don't want recorded, send me an email. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for coming in. I really enjoyed chatting with you. And enjoy the rest of your day. And if I'm not here again tomorrow or later on today, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Oh, in Florida, it's legal? Yeah, that's good. So that's another way. Always have your phone handy. Press that little voice record button. Anyway, have a good day. Enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>